Hello everyone, I'm just going to show you how to fly a P-51 when you got multiple enemies on your 6. Right now, notice my speed. It, it was way over 600 kilometers per hour, but I got to climb a little bit to do what I'm about to do. Right now, my, one of my buddies here, John Ulrich, is going to try and um, get a couple of these guys that's chasing me, but it end, ends up, one of them ends up getting a lucky shot on him, right? As soon as he goes, all of these players are going to coming on my six. Right? So, I gain a little bit of altitude now. And then, after I gain a little bit of altitude, I'm just going to level off just a little bit to see, see who's coming at me and who's not coming at me. Right? So, I'm, I'm right, right above the airfield too, right now. So, you can see a whole lot of anti-aircraft guns going off at me right so I see treacherous coming at me I think the other guys Ichigori Ichigori X coming at me right but one of the most effective things about this plan is its the ability to keep that speed going consistently forward right and, I, and right now I see him coming so I decided to pull up 10 degrees up my nose. I'm using full mech controls. That's manual engine controls. I decided to make this little chandelier like loop. What what this is gonna do is for them they have to pitch up harder and look go go higher and higher up, which is gonna cost them more and more energy. So that's what's happening right now. They're just gonna keep coming at me, keep coming at me. I got my radiators closed right here when he thinks he's gonna get me I'm just gonna pitch straight up so right now I know he just lost a lot of energy and I can see Null down there Null looks like he's, he's about to get me so I'm watching Treacherous right now and I'm, yeah by the, by the looks of things Null thinks I'm probably going for Treacherous so he just comes back at me Bam! Right there. That's what you call a chandelier. What what you re what what I really did was use my speed to get separation, and then get altitude, and then corkscrew, a large corkscrew through the air, and then come down on the enemy. Right now, Ichigori, Ichigori, Ichigori X, he's coming at me. I'm gonna do the same thing. Gain a whole lot of speed, pitch pitch my nose up a little bit, and then go right into him. But this is not going to be a chandelier. This is going to be a merge, I think. Yeah. If I can remember. So. Also, when you're going at these speeds for a long time against Japanese, Japanese have weak engines, so they heat up a lot more faster than you do. So, it's sort of like endurance fighting when you have to go against a Japanese and you're flying a P-51. And I'm and I'm going to I'm I'm about to do the same thing all over again. I'm just going to go into him, merge, and then pull up. I'm just going to see where he is. And this is where I sort of made my mistake. What I did was I went straight up, and but I didn't cut the throttle down. Because I didn't cut the throttle down, I I went right into him too soon, too fast, and I overshot him. So, it's going to happen right here. So, what I did next was... I, what that was. I just flew away from him. I didn't, I didn't try to turn fight him. I didn't dive away as quick. But all I'm doing again is getting separation. So, I, th I think I got about 2 or 3... Well, maybe, maybe, I think it was more than 3 Ks away from him. Yeah. And then, I started to do the same move, move again pitch my nose up 10 just under 15 degrees and then slowly turn towards him so from his point of view he has to pitch his nose up and turn which is gonna well kill his speed energy and he's just gonna stall out in midair so 
look at the speeds I'm going at. I'm going at 530 Ks. Right now, Ichi there, he's, he's going to be burning his engine up because he's been chasing me for about 20, almost 30 minutes. So, here we go again. I try, I try not to drop my speed below about 300 or 310 or 320. As soon as you do that with a P51, you just lose a whole lot of energy. You, you just become a brick and it's easy to shoot down bricks. There we go. There we go. All right. No, notice I wait till he turns. I wait till he tries to pitch up at me. And only after he does that, then I start pitching up. At these altitudes, Easy's going to have a very hard time. This it's not going to have enough engine power to come at me. As soon as I, I hit um, below about 300, I start dropping my flaps. I cut my throttle because I don't want to do the same thing I did before. Just overshoot him. I just wait till he commits to left or right side of me and then I just slowly go in and that's it